Hi there, my name is Nigel Hay, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're going to be doing a COVID update in the Niagara region once again and I am in Niagara Falls. I have to admit, I do love coming down to Niagara Falls, one of my favorite places in the world, it really is. And I'm so lucky that I actually live not too far away. I'm about a 20 minute drive uh, from here, from my house to here. And I used to commute along here to work on a regular basis until I changed locations and now I can't come this way. Uh, so it's always nice to get down here as often as possible. It's just beautiful. There's something about water that I really, really like. The sound of the thundering water, uh, the greenery that's down here, and just the way it looks. It's just a spectacular place, and that's probably one of the reasons why I do a lot of my videos from down here, is because I love it down here. All right, today is Tuesday, the 14th of July, and as of right now, the province of Ontario has just announced uh, 106, sorry, 111 new cases of COVID-19 today, 116 yesterday, so still relatively slow and low numbers, which is kind of good. We, we seem to be slowing it down quite a bit. All right, we're into stage three uh, of the reopening phase here in Ontario, but unfortunately, Niagara Falls wasn't included, uh, along with Durham, Haldimand, Halton, Hamilton, Peel, Toronto, Windsor, and the Niagara region were not included in the latest phase three of reopening Ontario. Uh, for some reason, the Ontario government will not give an answer to why uh, Niagara Falls is included, uh, sorry, excluded from uh, phase three. Uh, they're just saying they need to see more data, but they're not being clear on what that data is. So that's a shame. We don't know what's going on because um, overall, we have really low numbers in the Niagara region. We've known that for a long time, but it's very contradictive uh, when you think that they're not letting us go into phase three, but they don't stop anyone from coming down here to visit. So that to me is very hypocritical and very much a contradiction. Uh, so you can be in a phase uh, three in uh, Waterloo region or further Ontario, you can be in stage two in Toronto, but no one's gonna stop you jumping in your car, jumping on a bus or whatever, and head down to Niagara Falls and walk around and uh, yeah, gather as many as you want. As we'll go and see down here in a minute, there is large groups. It's not a busy day, but there is quite a lot of people down here. Um, but so far, most people are social distancing. There is a few masks. I have mine in my pocket. I put it on when people are pretty close to me. As I'm just walking around in the park, I don't really care. Uh, so yeah. All right, here's an interesting thing. Uh, the United States now has uh, ooh, 3.4 million uh, confirmed cases of COVID-19. And I'm just gonna show you a video of uh, the falls here. And there's two boats that run. One is the US one made of the mist. And the other one is the Hornblower, which is Canadian. Uh, the Canadian side has very strict restrictions and the American side doesn't. Take a look at this. I'm down by the falls and I'm right by the, uh, the hornblower uh, boat, the uh, cruise that takes you up to the falls. And there's one thing you can notice straight away when you're down here. Just over there is the Maid of the Mist, which is the American side. And below me is the hornblower. Now there's strict regulations here in Canada uh, due to the COVID. And I believe they're only running with six people on board the, uh, the hornblower down here. But way over there, there's no restrictions and the boats are still packed, and they wonder why they have a very high COVID rate over there. Uh, Florida, just the other day, announced, so actually, you'll see Florida announced it. Uh, it, it suggested that if Florida was a country and not a state, it would be the fourth largest amount of COVID cases in the world, the fourth largest country. That's if Florida was classed as a country and not a state. That is unbelievable. And they wonder why they have so many high cases when you look over there and you see no social distancing. Basically in America, they, they really don't care what's going on. Uh, whereas here, we take it pretty strictly and we're, that's probably why we don't have the high numbers as they do. Look out. 
Here's a, here comes the Corona Cruise. The American Corona Cruise, that is. I'd like to know how much money this boat operator is actually losing the Hornblower. I mean, normally that boat would be packed just like the US one made in the mist, but as you can see, uh, one, two, three, uh, five, six people on the top deck. That is all there is. So there can't be that much money being made down here. I mean, the boat itself with fuel, the staff, is probably costing more than it is to run the thing with six people on. The only way they can make a profit is by having this ship pretty much full. All right, just walking around the Clifton Hill area and surrounding roads. Quite a few places now open, which is uh, completely different from what it was just a couple of months ago when we were down here and it was deserted. So it's good to see quite a few people are now back around the place. It's not too busy, which is good. I'm at the bottom of Centre Street here in Niagara Falls and they've turned Centre Street into a pedestrian area just the last section of it, the last block and uh, extended all the patios out onto the road which is uh, kind of a neat thing to do seems we're still stuck in stage bloody two so uh, right now it is uh, still in the afternoon so there's no one really around but you can see all the patio tables are all set up behind me and uh, I can presume that this is pretty busy later on in the day and late at night and uh, making sure the local businesses get the most out of it the best they can under these circumstances, but it's a good idea, well done. On social media there is a lot of people saying that people should stay away and uh, to a certain extent I agree uh, but why should they stay away uh, our region has done nothing to prevent people from coming down here well Fort Erie did mind you they put a sign up saying the beach is closed uh, but Niagara region hasn't Niagara Falls and Niagara Falls we have to remember is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world one of the biggest millions and millions of visitors come here every year even this year millions of people still come even without any international tourists it's still gonna be in the millions so we can't expect people to stay away. 
especially in a place like this. I think Niagara Parks has done a really good job. They've made everyone welcoming. Uh, they've got everything in place. It's clean. People, uh, the, the staff are, are prepared. They're wearing their gear. Uh, there's washrooms everywhere. There's sanitizer in places. It's, it's, it's well done. But like I said, you need people need to realize when they're coming down to visit the Niagara region, you need to check ahead to make sure where you're going is open and it can facilitate you with amenities and things like that. That's all you have to do. Try and avoid, if you're coming from out of town, make sure you avoid uh, the places which are more local to people, like our local beaches and uh, smaller attractions. Just make sure you check ahead because a lot of them are closed. And last thing you want to do is go down to one of these places and it's closed and you have nothing, well, not what's enough to do, but you have nowhere to go. You've got no washroom or anything. Don't forget, we're in phase two down here, not phase three. So most places are still closed. You can't just access anything when you want it. So with that said, if you're coming from out of town, come on down, enjoy yourself, try and stick to Niagara Falls. And whatever you do, do not go off the beaten path when you go up the Glen and go for a walk because the Niagara Parks have rescued way too many people this year who just can't follow simple rules. All right, tell me what you think in the comments below on regards to people coming down here and visiting. Should they, do you want them down here? Do you want them to visit? Do you want them to put money back in our economy? Do you want them to stay away? And I'd like to hear what your opinion is on this matter. So please leave your comments in the comments below. Most appreciated as always. Oh, just to add, if you're wondering why people are coming down to Niagara Falls, it's because Niagara Parks itself has a commercial out encouraging people to come down here. So uh, this is the, uh, I'll just put it, hang on, I'll move myself over here. I'll just put the video here. This is the way it looks like. So Niagara Parks are encouraging people to come on down. We are open for business. So you can't grumble really at the people that are coming down here. They're being told to come down and it's okay. We just gotta hope they stay away from the smaller places which are not open. It's worth losing the mask for this. Oh, I needed that. Good deal. Three times as much as McDonald's, but oh, tastes way better. That's really creamy. Very nice.